Hey everybody, my name is Mark. In this video, I wanted to talk about an amazing conversation I had with my guide um, about what's going on with uh, these frequencies and how we could kind of get lost in really trying to sync up the hemispheres of the brain and light everything up. So this is gonna be a very cool video, very deep conversation with my guy, just amazing info came through. So if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when I release new videos. So I was um, communicating with my guide this morning and got into a little bit of a discussion about um, really trying to navigate between 3D and 5D and this feeling of maybe being disconnected. Um, I look back at when I was, you know, first awakened and how everything was so magical. I was having all of these experiences and it feels like, you know, you kind of start to drift back into reality, right? So you take this new you that has come forward, this memory, this remembering of of this higher frequency version of you. And then, you know, you start to navigate that energy a little bit. You start to do some healing work and then you move back into reality, right? And you find yourself moving about in 3D and dealing with work and everyday types of situations and things like that, right? So we kind of pull away from that. And he explained to me what's happening is that we've got, you know, the two hemispheres of the brain. So when we go through an awakening, we really reignite or, or get reintroduced to our higher self, which flows through that energy comes through the right hemisphere of the brain. That's our connection um, to that aspect, right? So we move into that. We work with that energy. We start to ground that energy. We get familiar with that energy and all these amazing things happen, right? Because we're truly focused on our multidimensional aspect. Um, we're connected to our intuition Everything is just flowing. Um, again, amazing experiences, seeing like things like that. And then gradually, we return to what we're here to do, which is to experience this incarnation in this 3D dense reality and heal from our past traumas, right? That's what this movie is for. It's creating a landscape for us to be able to experience our traumas and really process them once and for all. So we gradually move back into that. Now, when that happens, we kind of start to lose touch with that aspect of us when we were kind of focused on the right brain, right? Our higher self, the divinity, those types of things. If we don't bring our awareness back to that, we kind of drift away back into 3D land, right? Get into the left brain type of situation. So we're operating from a different frequency of energy. Um, what my guide was explaining to me is that we're here to really allow this energy to get flowing through our physical vessel. And in order to do that, we need to bring into coherence the left and the right hemispheres of the brain. We need to build pattern circuitry um, that connects to do the two halves so that energy can flow basically unobstructed or with as little of a wobble as possible. So we move from the right brain to the left brain we start doing in 3D, we bring our awareness back to the experiences we had and we start to connect it up. So you can think of it kind of going like this, right? We're not fully in alignment, but we're kind of veering in and out of this coherent state. And we do this um, just because we get tied up in experiences in 3D and things like that. So we bring awareness back occasionally when we move in and we can do that through meditation. Um, through breath work and things like that. Now, he was explaining to me physically what's going on when that happens. Uh, have you guys experienced buzzing in your ears? If you have, go ahead, throw it in the comment section below. Let's see how many comments we could get on that. I know it's very common. Um, there's all sorts of reasoning behind why that happens. Some people say, well, you're, you know, you're, you're picking up and hearing the higher energy um, the higher frequencies and things like that, or maybe you're getting a download. So he had an explanation for me that was really kind of cool. And I hadn't really thought of it this way before. So my guide told me that the buzzing that we hear is a function of our pineal gland vibrating up to a faster pace. And that happens when the hemispheres of the brain, as I was showing like this, were kind of oscillating, right? When they start to kind of get into coherence, 
and energy is flowing between them. They're like plugged in. It's almost like taking a plug and plugging it in the wall socket, right? When we could balance that out and we could get into coherence, the pineal gland activates and starts vibrating faster. And when that happens, we hear this tone, okay? This pineal gland, um, it, it's sitting in, in, in fluid. It just starts vibrating, right? And it, and it, it just um, awakens, okay? So when we're starting to hear these tones, it's an indication that our brain is getting into coherence. And when that happens, energy flows. So it's an indicator, okay, of your state of alignment. So the more you could focus and get into alignment, I know when I meditate um, or if I'm listening to my music and I start feeling high vibe, the buzzing starts, right? Even in meditation or when I'm doing breath work, because I'm getting into alignment, I'm getting into coherence. The pineal gland is vibrating at a faster rate. Okay, it's increasing in vibration and um, tapping into those higher frequencies. So the mere function of getting into coherence and hearing that buzzing tells you that your pineal gland is active and that is sending signals, um, multi-dimensional, higher dimensional signals through the brain. Okay, it's getting from the right brain to the left brain because you're in coherence. Okay, and the circuitry is built. Circuitry is connected. And when that happens, the high frequency energy can get from the multidimensional state um, or multidimensional frequency, these higher frequencies, in through the brain, through the right brain, into the left brain, and actually manifest in the mental body. So we here as humans can perceive it and understand it, okay? It, it becomes part of our reality. We know it's there, Okay. Um, awakening is an awareness of our multidimensional selves. When we awaken, we become aware of who we truly are. So that information in that moment gets up into our mental, our mental body, right? The left brain, we can understand and perceive this energy. So when we're in brain coherence, um, and the pineal gland is active, it starts to reflect out into our reality. So we can start to see energy. Um, we could start to pick up on manifestations. We could see the ET craft that are here in the atmosphere, maybe vibrating just above 3D, you know, maybe in 4D or 5D. We could start to perceive that energy as well. That's because we're in coherence. Now, as that buzzing gets louder and louder and louder, the brain is getting more aligned, more in coherence. And the two hemispheres are zeroing in on a frequency. Um, have you guys ever listen to binaural beat meditations. It's the same exact principle. We've got one frequency in one ear, one in the other, the two of them together hone in on the differential in the frequency. And that's the target frequency that you're trying to align with. Well, that's what's happening with the hemispheres. They are moving into a target frequency, right? That, that generates right in the brain, right at the connected point where the pineal gland is. Okay. So that Buzzing is an indication of this. Okay. So you want to sit and feel that when it happens. Okay. Because as that pineal gland vibrates, um, it starts to vibrate the fluid that is in your body. Okay. The cerebral spinal fluid down your spine, the energy just starts to get transmitted down your spine through your entire body. And everything starts to vibrate at a faster rate. Okay. So um, when we eventually get in complete alignment, when the frequency allows for that, we have complete alignment of the chakras it just comes down and up your body grounds into the earth and up and you are aligned. And that's the Merkaba activation. Okay. The light body point where your light body activates. Okay. So, um, we want to continue moving to increase the frequency of our physical vessel. Okay. So pay attention to the buzzing. That is very, very important. Now that you know what it is, this came straight from my guide, a very uh, just incredible and detailed conversation I had with him this morning. Um, he was answering all sorts of questions about this and just bringing this information forward. I had never really thought of it that way, um, you know, about the pineal gland and its role in that when we're hearing the buzzing and the circuitry um, being built uh, just a, a simply amazing perspective. I really wanted to share it with you guys. Um, hopefully 
that brings a little bit more light to what's going on when you're experiencing that, but make sure you follow it, sit with it, bring awareness to what's happening, bring awareness to your pineal gland and know that you are building that circuitry. You know, the, the brain is getting in, into coherence. The, the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere, they're starting to come together and allowing a handshake or a handoff of that high frequency energy to kind of pass through so that the left brain can experience it. Okay. You can get up into the mental body, into the mental field and manifest out into this reality. That's why we're here. That's what we want to do. So, um, you know, when we awaken, I know when I awaken, you want to spend as much time kind of in that high frequency energy, you know, or, or in the etheric realms, the higher realms, right? The right brain stuff. We need to really link that up with the left brain, bring it down here and experience it from that perspective through the eyes of our physical vessel, our humanity, our ego, get the ego on board and experience it from the perspective of being human. That's what we're here for. We don't want to go there. We're here to ground it. We bring it down here through the right brain. We connect it up with the left brain and we can manifest it and experience that high frequency energy as a human. So again, I hope this video resonated with you guys. Uh, smash that like button. If it did, I would greatly appreciate it. Share this video everywhere you can. If you know people that it could help, again, I would greatly appreciate that. Leave a comment below if it resonated. Love to hear from you. And subscribe, please, if you have not already. Thank you so much, guys. Until next time, love and light.